Hello people, I am back, and I'm here with some more Minecraft, and I'm here on Tech It for a short, small, still short video. Just to show off my new uh, operating system I'm making for ComputerCraft, and because my friend was requesting a, uh, a, a demonstration on how good I'm getting at Lua. So, here it is. I, uh, this is also just going to be like a display for my new operating system. So, here, let me go... Exit... Okay. Reboot. Okay, so this is the main menu. Wait. This is the main menu for a new operating system. You can use the arrow keys to scroll through these menus here. Keep in mind, this is all 100% coded by myself. I This is all my own coding, everything. It is Lua, obviously, but, you know. No one else helped me out with this. This is my own coding. But anyway, so so you can just kind of scroll through them. I hit enter to open up the menu. And I you cannot scroll through these menus yet. I haven't coded that in yet. Um, As you can see, it's Big Mac OS. <laughs> yes, it's meant to be like Mac as in... Com computer mac and then big mac as a mcdonald's yes i understand that it was intentional long story how that name came to be but anyway so here's like the here's like a menu the start menu then run program just kind of brings up that reboot just kind of brings up a little place where i can just run run programs like in a terminal then run over here to games oh enter sorry i hit the wrong button here's worm adventure pokemon game that i'm gonna code later on and then yeah so yeah so that's pretty much it so far then you know I can. I'm also going to code Notepad, Internet, Email. That's that's all. That's all going to come later. Not very good with RedNet yet in ComputerCraft, so I can't code the Internet or the Email yet. But and then the Notepad. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure where I'm going to. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. So basically, that is pretty much it. And then change OS right here. I need to change that right here. I need to change that to say Terminal because it doesn't really change the OS. It just kind of moves to Terminal. So anyway, so let's go run program. Nope. That. Ah, uh, it's glitching. Why does it do this? Ah, oh, come on. I had this glitch earlier. This th That glitch, like, comes and goes and... Okay. Okay, yeah, my computer's glitching out hardcore. Is there a disk in here? No. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the issue here is. Control T. I don't know how to get rid of that glitch. Okay. I'm gonna have to iron out that glitch later. It's never done that before. Okay, so this that was a fit. Exit. Okay. Okay, so basically this is all the coding here. This is all the coding for this so far. You can see this is just like the GUI, just designing it. And then this codes up the start menu. Like it codes up if you hit, you know, like the right arrow key, it'll bring you over to run program. If you hit enter, it'll open up the start menu. Then this is the run program. Because if you hit enter, it'll run program. If you hit the right arrow, it'll bring you over to games, and the left arrow will bring you over to what's it called? The start menu. And then I bring it down here. This is the, for the games. Hit enter, it'll open up games. Hit left, it'll bring you over to the, this right here. Bring you over to the what's it called? The run program. That's what it is. And then this here. This is coding the what the start menu looks like. And I'm going to code in the arrow keys for all this later. And then... I'm going to come down here. And... Up here... One second, let me go up here a little bit. This just makes it so that uh, I can just hit like a... Like you see like like right here, it's programmed. If I hit S, it'll do that. S, if I hit O, it'll run the, It'll run OS shut down. So basically so I can select these things without, having, without, the, without the arrow key selection, which is what I'm going to be working on soon. But yeah, keep in mind, I did code this all from hand, like I had said before. And then this mess right here is the games menu. And then the same coding for, like, the keys, what they do. Right here. And then, this is videos and longer, and then this is just, like, this is just load main. And I'll just, like, load the main. But yeah, that's the coding for this operating system so far. It's quite a bit of coding. I still have a lot of work to do. Once I code up the arrow keys for the start and the games menu, it'll probably almost double this amount of code right here. Not double, but like, like you take half of it, it'll like add like another like half how much code. I don't know. You understand what I mean? Basically, it'll add, it, it's going to add a buttload more coding. So yeah, like here, let me show you real quick. Okay, so like you see this function, uh, this function MMS. This function from here to here. This is all the. This is just for the uh, 
It's just for one of the three options in the uh, main menu. This is just for the one of the three main options. I'm going to have to do this exact thing for each and every option in each of the menus, so it's going to be a lot of extra coding. Which is why I haven't done it yet, because that's a lot of extra coding. I don't really have the time for it right now. So, yeah, basically, that's all my coding. The main reason I'm doing it is because my friend wanted to see my coding, but he can't get on this TechIt server. If you saw it right down there, it said mcdude 22 is AFK. It's because I'm on a server. I coded this on a server because my friend has a server, so I coded it on said server. So, yeah, basically, I coded this on a server, and because it's on a server, I can't just get the source code and send it to him. So I'm just kind of making a video about it, and he can't just hop on and look at it because he because he can't run tech it. But, um, yeah, basically that's it. This is my OS. Control exit, reboot. Oh hey, look at that! The run program menu is working now. Dang it! Why does it always every single time? Every single time, uh. Not every single time, I mean, like, some, almost every single time it'll work. And then there's, like, the occasion where it, where it glitches up and craps up like it did that first time. When it was all glitchy and crashed the operating system. But, so, anyway. I need to figure out that error before I go much more progress. I need to figure out what the, where the glitch is in the coding. Edit, start up. I've looked at it before. I can't figure it out, really. And, um, later on, when I make another spotlight, I might add the coding for all this in the description, so that other people can run my Big Mac OS. Here, let's see if they're, let's see if I can figure it out right now on video. Okay, anyway, this is already, a, you know, a seven minute video, I intended it to be like a four minute video, so. Anyway, so yeah, that, that would be my operating system in exactly seven minutes. See ya!